first guest tonight is a talented actor you know from films such as Rocket Man, Eddie the Eagle, and the Kingsman franchise. He executive produces and stars in Tetris, which premieres globally on Apple TV Plus tomorrow. Let's take a look. Relax, Hank. This game is swell. What's it called? Tetris. Tetris. I don't get it. It's a combination of Tetra, Greek for four. All the game's pieces are variants of four, and tennis. Tennis. Tennis is supposedly the Russian inventor. He um he likes tennis. Here, Hank, try it. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show our friend Taryn Edgerton, everybody. <laughs> What a lovely welcome. Thank you They're so very much. Lovely. Thank Thank you. You. It's so nice to see you again. It's great to uh, see you. Thank last you. time you were here, uh, we were talking about uh, your wonderful work uh, as Elton John in Rocket Man. Thank Obviously, you. Yep. Uh, you know, a slightly. Uh, the appropriate response. You know, obviously it was taking on a lot, playing a real person. Yes. You are also playing a real person uh, in this film. This is Hank Rogers, who was integral in the uh, Tetris story. This That's is a true it. story. Exactly. Did you know him as well as you knew Elton John? No. Yeah. No. So you weren't like a big Hank Rogers fan. No, but I mean, I am now, obviously. <laughs> and you got to meet the real Hank. I did, yeah. Well, we shot this movie during the first sort of COVID phase. Uh -huh. So we spoke over Zoom a lot. He's a nice guy. He was a, a game publisher in 1989, and the scene you just saw, he had got this sort of sneak preview to Tetris, took it upon himself to go to Soviet Russia on a tourist visa to try and procure the rights to the game. So he's this sort of, you know, cowboyish, renegade fit, you know, classic casting. <laughs> yeah. uh, so he went to Russia to, to, uh, to get the game. And now, uh, do, was he surprised that his story was being told on film? No, I think they've known for a while, because okay. it's because the, the story gets crazy. It's hard, I've been in New York for a couple of days trying to, you know... Explain it. Explain it, yeah. and I'm rubbish. I can't, <laughs> I can't do it, but it is, Wild, you know, the KGB got involved and there's jeopardy and it's in Russia and it's naughty and it's cool. <laughs> it is not when you think there's going to be a move about Tetris. I was very surprised when I found out that all exactly, these very yeah. real details. Yeah, I got there on the first day and I was dressed as a square and everyone looked at me <laughs> like, oh. You did, um, I want to ask about the mustache because I can't, I could not tell watching, real or fake? I can't believe you're asking me that. <laughs> I can't. Believe you're asking me that. I, you know, that's I, like ask... I can't tell why you're offended. Because it's like, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because it's like asking a lady her age. You must. <laughs> I don't know why you're all laughing. <laughs> you must never ask a gentleman if his moustache is really. All right. Play. You know what? I I apologize that I've stepped afoul of manners, and you know what? <laughs> we shall just leave it at that. Let's leave that one there and move on with the interview. <laughs> we can fix this in editing. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Um, this was, um, uh, uh, you know, was this a game? Because again, this game was so popular uh, in yeah. the early 90s, Tetris. Yeah. Were you, I mean, I know also I'm aware that that's probably right around when you were um, born. Yes. Uh, yeah. So did you know much about Tetris? No, okay. no, I didn't. I was actually born, the movie ends, I'm going to tell you how the movie ends. That's <laughs> left field, isn't it? Uh, the the movie, movie ends when your mustache falls the off. The movie. <laughs> And then it goes, it's the last piece of the Tetris. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's it, the movie's set during the sort of last days of the, the Soviet Union, and obviously, the, you know, it kind of culminates with the... Uh, well, I really shouldn't do this, actually. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was born on the 10th of November, 1989, so I am an 80s baby just by the skin of my teeth. There you go. But uh, I did play a little bit when I was a kid. Yeah, I got a copy when I got my first Game Boy when I was about 10. What were the games that you then played? Did you play video games? I was Pokemon, obsessed with Pokemon. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> obsessed. Hey, thanks, that's cool. <laughs> my, like, my inner monologue was going, you are the least cool man yeah. on the planet. But they apparently were, the, the way, Seth Meyers audience... No, 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 I want to tell you what happened there. They were applauding for Pokemon. They weren't applauding... 
They didn't think it was cool that you were obsessed with Pokemon. <laughs> Don't look. You're not even wearing Stick a watch. <laughs> Oh, is that is that offensive that I asked if you're wearing a watch? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anything that I have to put on my body. You know? um, no, I meant because you know Pokemon doesn't make me feel very cool, but I was I was obsessed with that game as a yeah. kid. But I played Tetris sort of when I got bored of Pokemon, which was yeah. quite rare. You know, almost like a sort of palate cleanser. You yeah. Know, when you go to a restaurant, you have a bit of sorbet. Yeah. Tetris is my sorbet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I bet, I bet I'm confident you're the first person to ever say that about Tetris. Let's get it. Let's get it on a T-shirt. <laughs> Your face, and it says Tetris is my sorbet. Exactly that. And uh, I've just heard from the T-shirt store there, no one's buying it. Yeah. Really? <laughs> but we'll keep working on it. We'll keep. Now, um, I've heard that one of your dream roles is uh, Sweeney Todd. Yes. Which is currently on uh, Broadway in previews right now. Yes. Um, yeah. Are you going to have time? Are you here long enough to go check it out? No, but I just heard that Maud Apatow is on the show. Yeah. And she's playing Audrey 2. Yes. Little Shop of Horrors is like my favorite show. That's fantastic. I'd I, had a, I have a dream about playing Seymour. I actually played, when I was 17, I played that role at the Aberystwyth Art Center, which is the town I'm from. And it's one of my real dream roles. Suddenly see more. There you go. That's, that was for you. Yeah. That oh, was for you. Thanks, that one, guys. That was there. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean, I'm judging about your taste because that was not my finest. Yeah, <laughs> and we, we do want to beg you, just remember the next time you're on, please don't use your time here to audition for Broadway stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you, uh, when were, uh, did you do a lot of shows when you were 17? Was that? Yeah, that's when I, so I started acting when I was about 15. I, I was quite late to it, really. Um, and that was one of the ones that I did in youth theatre. It was an amazing thing for me, um, acting, because I suppose, uh, like, prior to that, I was a bit one of those kids who hadn't quite found his, his groove, you sure. know? And I, when I started acting, I sort of felt like I'd found my tribe. Did you have those moments because, uh, you know, for me it was, it was maybe doing improv comedy where you were on stage in front of people your age yeah. and it was going well. Because I remember the day I thought, oh, I never want to stop doing this. Oh, yeah. I know. I remember the moment. Really? I was it, was it, the... uh, what was it? Um, so that, this was when I was 15 and I, did, and, I, and I was in a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream, which is a Shakespeare play, um, and I played it, an actor within a show in the, in the play. And... He's kind of one of the younger members of the company and he's forced to play a woman and he's really upset about it. And as a sort of chubby, awkward, 15-year-old kid, I was really upset about it and I was given a red, like, tutu cocktail dress and flowers in my hair and a little thing. And I was... I thought, well, this is it. This is the end of the world. <laughs> um, but I went out on stage and the audience fell about laughing and I thought... Wow, this is it. Yeah, it's like a drug. And that's why drag is okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we're gonna top that. I think that's a perfect capper. Thank you so much for being back. What a delight to have you here. Thank you. Karen Edgerton, everybody. Tetris premieres on Apple TV Plus tomorrow.